Hey money loves and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today we're going to be discovering a Rare Gems double monofilament wig collection. This is their 13 by 4 Swiss lace front unit and 26 inches and her name is Ellie. Now, I wasn't too sure how this unit was going to look because on the website, honey, the models had me shook. But the quality and the fullness of this unit is unmatched. So this is how the unit came in this long white box. When it was delivered, I was like, what is this? But then I opened the package and this was the wig. So this is the inside of the wig. It does go ear to ear. However, it is missing that 13th inch. It cuts me a little bit short at about 11 to 12 inches from ear to ear. And as you can see, it does go back four inches right in that middle section, but on the sides is about two and a half. So this is the double monofilament section of the wig. This luxurious material minimizes potential scalp irritation. It also mimics the look of a natural scalp. So for those of you going for an effortless look, this unit will be perfect. However, I do wish the monofilament section of the wig spread across the entire lace. That way there's no use of chemicals for toning, bleaching, or blending the lace into your skin. But at least you won't have have to blend the entire lace because of this material in the middle. Again, this is Swiss lace, so it's really thin and durable and stretchy. So this lace is some good material and it blends right in with my skin. I didn't have to do too much as far as putting makeup or lace tint. This wig didn't require any plucking of the lace or bleaching of the knots, but you guys know I had to go ahead and customize it to fit how I usually like my units. And if you all want to see that, I do have some tutorials on my channel. If you want to check that out, you can look in my wig maintenance and how to playlist. Now, before we get into styling the unit, I want to give you guys a further look inside the cap. This wig does come with four combs, three in the middle of the wig. So one on each side, one in the middle, and one in the back. It does have adjustable straps as well as an elastic band to help keep the wig in place. So for today's hairstyle, I'm going to be doing a butterfly braid as well as this cute side part. You guys know I rarely do side parts, so this whole hairstyle was something different for me. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is how deep I could get the side part so I can still show the double monofilament material. And then I went ahead and parted out where I wanted my braid. At first, I was gonna do a small braid for a little detail, but the wig is so long, I decided to do something bigger. So I went ahead and parted right by my ear. And before starting any hairstyle, make sure you guys pull out wherever you want your edges and your sideburns. And that's what I did right here. Because I wanted to get this hairstyle as neat as I could, I went ahead and took the wig off and put it on a mannequin head. And I'm going to be putting some push pins into the lace to keep it secure on the wig head, as well as pinning away the sideburn and edge. The first step to having a sleek straight look is to make sure the hair is flat on the lace. You don't want any bulkiness going on when you have straight hair, that is a no-no. So I'm taking this foamy mousse and putting it all across the hair on the top just to make it super, super flat. And if you have to use whatever utensil you have, I have my rat tail comb, I have my bristle brush, I have my hot comb. Y'all, I wasn't playing when I was doing this hairstyle. It is going to be flat. Okay, and this is how that turned out. Look how sleek, shiny, and flat this is. Come on now, stop playing. Now for the braid, all I'm doing is adding that foaming mousse to that section, and I'm going to slick this down as well. Mm -hmm. 
after I'm done slicking it down, I'm just going to put a rubber band on that section just to part it away from the rest of the hair. Now, if y'all know how to plait or braid, then you don't need to watch this part. But for those of you who don't know how to plait or braid, I'm just parting into three sections of that part. So I have my three pieces here and I'm going to twist underneath the middle section. So I'm alternating between the left and the right and I'm twisting under. So in this video, I'm starting with my right side because I'm right-handed and I'm taking that right section and twisting that under the middle and then I'm alternating to the left. I'm taking the left side and twisting that under the middle. So you're alternating each side and just twisting under into the middle. Some people braid on top and do the opposite way, but today I'm feeling under. You can braid either way, under or over. That's how you braid or plait. For this braid, you want to keep it a little bit tight because you're going to be pulling the braid apart once you're done braiding all the way to the end. And once you get to the end of your braid, however much you want to braid, you can secure it with a rubber band. To get the butterfly effect of this braid, all you have to do is just pull the braid apart. You're just going to spread the braid apart. The rubber band at the top and the bottom of the braid is helping the braid stay in place. That way it's easier to spread apart. But you will be removing that top rubber band once you've gotten that butterfly effect. So this is how the butterfly braid turned out. It's so cute, so different. And all I did was pin it to the back of the wig. You guys can pin it however you want, but I just did it straight across and it almost gave this crown-like look. So I'm absolutely in love with this hairstyle. That is pretty much all for this video. If you want to see the install, just keep watching. If not, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I will see you all on the next one.